Liza! I'm a doctor! I know. How's the body coming along? Uh, hard to tell, Griffin. Just a bunch of wires and gears. Can I go now? Yeah, you can go. Yay! Another case closed. And just in time, this just came down from the chief. You look familiar to you? Looks like Dr. Stein. Maybe we should pay a visit to his brother. Uh, what's his name? Dr. Stein. Of course. <laughs> you ready to solve another mysterious mystery? You betcha. We didn't have much to go on, but we decided to follow a hunch. Dr. Stein was someone who just always seemed to pop up in our detective work. I was beginning to think there was something suspicious about him. And then his brother was murdered in what appears to be an odd cult ritual. Special Agent Liza and Special Agent Griffin. We've been here many, many times. May we come in? What do you want? We're here on behalf of the Department of Paranormal and Supernatural Events and Happenings that we can't explain. Yet. I know. Thank you. We're here to see Dr. Stein. Yeah. Is he home? Yeah? Can you go get him? Fine. Dr. Stein will see you momentarily. Please take a seat and make yourselves comfortable. Look, if it's all just the same, we'll just go on up and see Dr. Stein. It's not the same. Actually, it's quite different from what I asked you to do, which was to sit down in that chair and make yourselves comfortable and wait for Dr. Stein to come down. Leave them alone, Mabel. For now. Dr. Stein? Guten Tag. Und how are my two favorite FBI agents? Not just FBI. We're here with the Department of Paranormal and Supernatural Events and Happenings that we can't explain. Yet! Dr. Stein, forgive me if this is your first time hearing this, but your brother recently passed away in a truly gruesome and violent way. Murdered in one of the most horrendous crimes I've seen on my 15 years on this job. I am. Well aware. I mean, like, blood everywhere. Just... Know anything about it? No. But I assume it had something to do with the occult, black magic, and other unscientific nonsense. My brother was very into that sort of thing. We never really did see eye to eye. That may be. Did he ever mention anything about portals? Agent Slice of Griffin, my brother spoke of a great many things. Most of the nonsense I assure you. We could never agree on anything. In fact, I would say I hadn't even spoken to him in five years, seven months, two weeks, four days. Well, I wish you could be more specific. This has been an enormous waste of time. As if I was a fun thing. A woman from Florida. My brother believed she could speak to the spirit world if you can believe such a thing. If I were you, I would start with her. Thank you, Dr. Stein. Thank you for nothing. I don't know, Griffin. What do you think? He's lying. I just don't know about what. Are they gone? Yes, they're gone. Why did you tell them about that woman in Fiat? I have my reasons. What are they? Come, Mabel. Back to work. <laughs> <laughs> Flo, 
Florida, the sweaty crotch of America. Is that it? What else is there to say? Besides, we would just have to explain it all to the chief on our phone call. What phone call? Hi, gang. Want to bring me and the audience up to speed? Absolutely. Dr. Stein tipped us off about a medium in Florida. We're on our way there now to see if she can- Liza? Hmm? You didn't say anything. I heard every word. Speaker must be broken. No, you just kind of stared out the window the whole time. Huh. We're on our way to see a medium. A medium, eh? I never went in on that sort of thing. Tell me about it, Chief. I only believe in things with concrete facts, like astrology. Same. Well, good luck, you two. I'll keep an eye out for the report. Oh, Chief, what did you call us for? Oh, escape my mind. Ah! I'll call you on your watch if I remember. Hopefully you're not in the middle of something important. We never are. What? Bye! Griffin, is that it? Hard to say. Expecting you. We heard you know Dr. Stein. I did know him. Would you like to speak with him? Join hands. Hey. Is he... He's part of it. Okay. <sighs> Dr. Stein. Dr. Stein! We summon you from the spirit world. We summon you back from the dead. We're summoning Dr. Stein. Not the one from the last episode. His brother. Uh, he died. Uh, and, uh, under, you know, that's a mysterious message that we're following Griffin. up on. Griffin. Oh, I just thought he should be brought up to speed. Okay, we're in the middle of a seance. We're never going to make contact with the spirit world if you keep chatting to this man. That's my partner, Liza. Griffin! Uh, shh! We have a visitor. Dr. Stein, is that you? No. I am Dr. Stein. I'm sorry, you guys just look so much alike. I know, I know. I have something very important to tell you. Dr. Stein dabbled in paranormal science, you see. Griffin! We do not have much time. This portal has only a brief life. Portal, you say? Yeah, they are very difficult to explain, but I will try. Oh, the chief is calling. Can it wait? It really needs to wait. Listen, I made myself a pledge that I would never put my career on hold for any man at any time. I've worked too long and I've worked too hard. I missed the call. Aw, uh, now he's calling me. We don't have time for this! What's up, chief? Am I interrupting something important? No, not really. Why? Well, Liza didn't answer her phone. I remembered what I wanted to tell you. Hello? Shh. Don't be rude. What is it, Chief? My wife is having a birthday party on Tuesday. I wanted to see if you all could make it. We would love to. It would be our honor. I am about to disappear! Good, we are on the phone. We'll be there in our birthday suits, Chief. I'll be there in this. See you then.
bunch of politician types, the kind that'll send you into danger without any regard to your own safety. But we love danger. I know. Liza, Griffin, over here. What? I wanted you to meet my beautiful wife, Sandra Lina. It's a pleasure. Happy birthday, you old hag. Liza. Hmm. Do you see who I see? Sarah Lee. Nobody does it like she does. Top of her class at Quantico, works with the president every single day. Hey, you and her had a brief but fleeting romance. Most powerful feelings you've ever felt. It ended abruptly, and since then you've been wondering if maybe you've missed out on the best thing that would ever happen to you. Excellent exposition, Liza. Thanks. I'll be back. I'm gonna go check out the appetizer. I'm gonna get some booze. Well, it isn't Special Agent Griffin of the United States Federal Bureau of Investigation. Sarah? What brings you here? By the Chief's invitation. You? Same. Hey, Liza. Drinking from the ladle again? <laughs> Me too. Cheers. <laughs> Oh, what the? And that's how I single-handedly stopped thermal nuclear war. And what have you been up to? Special assignment. I'm on the Department of Paranormal and Supernatural Events and Happenings that we can't explain yet. Chasing ghost stories. Funnily enough, no ghosts yet. Unless, do you see that man over there? Yes. Then no ghosts. It's good to see you. Me too. What? Hmm, what? You always did have a way with words. <laughs> Is that your partner? That's Liza. Top of her class at Quantico. Just like you. And you. And me. And me. Me too. Class of 52. Hey, was anyone not top of class? Just me. Remember when I used to be your partner? Yeah. It's not like that with Liza. At all. I hate to ask you this, but are you married? Just the truth and justice. I am. What? I'm married to the president. Well, not to the president. What's the phrase I'm trying to think of? Married to your job. How do you come up with this stuff? Should we help her? No. She's just a little heavy on the sauce. Well, I better get going. Well then, I guess this is goodbye then, isn't it then? Agents. <laughs> Thanks. It was no sweat. I am allergic to all of your plants. We'll have that report of tonight's mysterious mystery on your desk first thing Monday morning. No. It's Saturday. Go enjoy your weekend, you crazy kids. <laughs> have it to me second thing on Monday morning. Thanks, Chief. Good night, everybody. Bye. Bye. You need more milk?
have been the perfect time to narrate. Uh, I am too drunk to narrate. All right, well, fly safe. Yep, will do. Oh, Liza. Take a look at this. I think something big is afoot. Will do. Following a tip from Griffin's confectionery ex-girlfriend, we hopped in a car and headed off towards Maine, chasing rumors of, wouldn't you believe it, a swamp monster. Where is the mayor? We said the South Pier at 9 a.m., and here we are at the South Pier, and it's 9 a.m. Griffin, what if something bad happened to the mayor? Why would you immediately assume that, Liza? Oh, here she comes. Where? There. Should we meet her? No. Okay. It's just, we have an awful lot to do today, Griffin. Well, it's the principle of the matter, Liza. Mint? Oh, yes, please. You must be Special Agent Griffin! Special Agent Liza! We sure are. Are you the mayor? Indeed I am. And I apologize for my lateness. I thought we had said South Pier 9 a.m. We did. This is the South Pier, is it not? Uh, no, this, this is the North Pier. But it's south of the other pier. Yeah, our signs are reversed. Why didn't we just meet in town? So I was busy. Anyway, the town's uh, just down that way to the right. Can't miss it. Goodbye. <laughs> sweeties? Coffee, raw, unfiltered. And you, honey? Yes, please. I'm sorry? Honey, raw, unfiltered, straight off the comb. You're the detectives, aren't you? From the FBI? Well, technically the term is federal agent, but yeah. We're the veterinary, uh, firemen, um, bartenders. We're here to solve it. Oh, thank goodness. Somebody can finally tell us what it is. It's a swamp monster. Well, we don't know. Have you seen it? Yes. Yeah. So what is it? Well, we don't know. Does it come from the swamp? Yes. Is it a monster? Yes. So it's a swamp monster. <laughs> we don't know. That's why you're here. I know what it is. <laughs> it's a... It's a swamp monster. Yeah, we know. Swamp, uh, swamp monster. Yeah. I seen it with my own eye. And the other eye, too. Okay. I can take you to him if you want. Deal. Don't worry, everyone. We will stop this swamp monster from terrorizing your town. I'll take you to Dead Man's Bluff. You can find the monster there. And here's Dead Man's Bluff. And here's where the monster lives. Good luck.
I saw you all were walking around out there for a few hours, so I made you some sandwiches and poured you some glasses of milk. This milk tastes funny. I milked myself. Mm. <sighs> well, my mother was a big mouth bass, and my father, well, let's just say I don't really know him. Hmm. Anyway, I've been living here ever since. More milk? Oh, yes, God, please. No. Oh. I'll send some of you to go, huh? Well, that is mighty nice of you. Oh, yeah. my goodness. Okay, you know, we gotta wrap this up. Listen, we just have a form here for you to sign saying, yes, you are a swamp monster, yes, you do exist, and if you have any plans to move, you'll let us know before. Oh, my bureaucracy, huh? All this red tape. <laughs> Preaching to the choir. Death taxes, huh? <laughs> okay, just sign the form. Oh, it's just uh, down here, right? Yeah, on the dotted line. <laughs> oh. uh. Well, my friend, we gotta hit the road. There's more where that came from. Oh. Liza, we gotta come back. Thank you so much. Oh. Well, looks like that wraps up another case for our two favorite detectives, Liza and Griffin. As they drove off Excuse into- Excuse me. What? How did you get in our car? Well, that's its own mystery. Liza, did you hear that? Another mystery. You ready to solve one? Yeah. You know, let's do it. They gone. Yeah. They're gone. Yes. Come here, bud. Continue the work. <laughs> 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 oh, you guys want some sandwiches? Sandwiches?